Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's reformer workout, I had a request for a very specific ab focus workout. So we are gonna do that. It's a full body workout still, but very targeted towards strengthening the abs and core, even though Pilates is already related to that. Just an extra bit of um, ab work for us today. I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment. So for those that are working on a different model at home, I will make those recommended spring settings for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I have over 25 different equipment workouts here on all different apparatuses. So feel free to check those out. And if you are interested in becoming or thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor or enhancing your Pilates practice so you can put your own workouts together at home, I am a master trainer and I'd be happy to talk more about how to get started. Or if you've been thinking about opening up your own Pilates studio or becoming a business owner, uh, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise registered in over 30 states. And I would love to talk more about how to get started. Everything's gonna be linked below in that description box, including some recommended workouts here um, on the channel. So if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and begin with our footwork series. So I have three and a half springs on, which is two reds, one green, and one yellow. So take it into a medium to heavy weight that feels comfortable for you. Go ahead and lie down on your carriage, settle in, taking a nice deep breath, maybe stretching that low back out by swaying the legs from left to right. And just taking a moment to center yourself, releasing any thoughts. Let's take your arms up towards the sky, take an exhale to curl up, keeping those feet planted onto the foot bar just for now. Take an exhale to flex the spine. Shoulders are plugged into the shoulder sockets, but think about as you lift the chest that the arms are reaching long and they're just hovering right over that carriage here. Good, hold it. Challenge yourself to take it into tabletop if you can, and let's repeat. Exhale to curl up. Let's grab a hold of those thighs to reach further and then lower it back down. Reach those thighs, lift up higher, reach out, lower down. So we're adding that extra challenge to increase the intensity in the abs. Exhale, lift, pull onto those thighs, lift up higher, holding your height, and lower it down. Let's do that again. Beautiful. And rest it. Good. We're gonna start to bring those arms down beside us. Let's tap those feet towards the foot bar, maintaining the angle behind the knee as we go into our lower and lifts here. So maintain tabletop, focus on maintaining a neutral spine, so all the natural curves of your spine. Relax with your shoulders, opening your chest up nice and wide. Double leg stretch, hands to those knees, reach out for the inhale, exhale to sweep it around. So our goal is to keep in a flex position through the torso. Extend those legs out nice and long, sweep and pull in. Beautiful, hold it there, single leg stretch, exhale, switching those hands to opposite knees here. Still maintaining flexion if you can, but if you need to take a rest, go ahead and rest that head down. You guys are doing awesome. Reach it out nice and long. Interlace those hands behind the head, legs straight up to the sky, lower those legs, exhale to lift up. So really facilitate the movement with those abs, not swinging the legs up. Try to avoid momentum in the body. Shoulders drop away from those ears. Focus on the breath. And lift. Beautiful. Go ahead and rest it into tabletop. Head goes down. We're gonna swing those legs over to the right and like a pendulum, bring them back up towards the center. Tabletop the legs, rotate and exhale, bring those legs back up. So tabletop here, over to the right, stretch out long, exhale, use those obliques to lift the legs. So we're trying to create this heaviness through our legs so that our obliques are doing the work here. Shoulder blades are planted, so if you feel like they're lifting, then you've gone over too far. And really focus on using that breath to help lift those legs back through center. Perfect. Okay, so footwork springs are already set, Heels are gonna go on the bar, parallel hip distance apart. Take an exhale to straight legs, nice long standing position. Inhale to bend those knees. Of course, you can reverse the breath here. So if you're used to breathing, 
when you inhale out and exhale come in, that is totally fine. And it's nice to switch up the breath to challenge yourself too if you do Pilates quite often. Perfect. Exhale, reach. Inhale to bend. Nice neutral pelvis. Bring it down to your toes. Stay parallel, hip distance apart, and stretch it out long. What's nice here is that our warm up already provided us with the heat to get more in tune, more connected with our abs, so that when we are going through our entire footwork series, you can feel those abs really contributing to the work here. Think about pushing with all of your toes, equal weight distribution here. Heels together, toes apart. Exhale, squeeze through those inner thighs, letting those knees be about shoulder distance apart as you bend those knees in. Beautiful. So our footwork is helping to strengthen our ankles, our knees, and our hips. It's a great way to get those larger muscle groups in our body warmed up, becoming centered and balanced with our mind and body. Bringing those heels all the way up to the top of the foot bar, let's turn out slightly, taking the exhale to push out. So when you're on your heels, be mindful that your ankles are not swaying back and forth, that they're connected as if you were pushing up against a board or up against a wall. And notice the difference this makes in your ankles and your calves. Beautiful. Let your knees be as wide as your shoulders, so double check that we're in that position. And staying wide, just go ahead and drop it to your toes, elevate those heels, exhale to push out long. Once again, having all of your toes contributing to the work here. They're pressing equally into the bar. Beautiful. Exhale nice and long. Think of your body just growing taller as you go into that standing position to push out. And let's move it into the center, back to parallel calf raises here. We're gonna do about 15 calf raises, so nice and controlled, articulating through the ankle, working through those toes, just basically all the intrinsic muscles of the feet here. If you tend to hyperextend through the knee, just be really careful that you are not working just through the joint. We want to have a micro bend at that knee so that you're working through the muscle. Beautiful. Once we've hit our 15 repetitions, take it into running, stabilizing through the pelvis, not allowing those hips to rock from side to side. Abs are still drawn in. Think belly button to spine. Beautiful job here, guys. Once you are done, take a final stretch through those calves. Amazing. We're gonna lift those heels, bend the knees, and let's return and come all the way up. I'm gonna reduce the springs down to one red, which is one medium spring here. Lying myself right back down again. And then when you're ready, go ahead and take your left foot, place it underneath the reformer and take your right foot and place it underneath the foot bar. Apply pressure as you push those feet up against the foot bar and we're going to start slow. So as you press away from the foot bar, imprint your low back into the mat, scooping your belly to draw that carriage right back in towards the springs. This is a challenging and difficult exercise if you're doing it correctly. When you feel like you can go out a little further, go ahead, because the hard part is the pulling in part. It's easy to push out. It's more challenging to pull in. Beautiful. We're doing about 10 repetitions here or doing the best that you can. Give yourself a break, grab a hold of that right handle. Left hand goes in first, right hand on top of the left hand. Tabletop the legs, sway them to the left. Exhale to rotate, 
reaching those hands by your right hip. You can obviously eliminate the flexion here if you need to, but our goal is to rotate through the spine, activating internal and external obliques here. Hug those knees together as a tight unit and point out through those toes. Perfect, exhale, lift up and inhale to lower. Let's take a break and we're gonna go into a single leg version of what we previously did. So right foot underneath the foot bar, left leg in tabletop, a little bit more challenging. You're gonna feel slightly more through the thigh here, right above the knee into the quad. But focus on equal balance in your hips. Focus on which obliques are activating. It's a unilateral movement, but we're creating symmetry, especially for the sides that are weaker on us. Again, inhale, push out, exhale to pull in. That's where you're gonna facilitate the movement. The breath is gonna help you draw that carriage back into the springs. Anywhere from five to 10 repetitions and then break. Take that left handle, right hand goes in first, left hand goes on top, arms up to the sky. You're gonna to tabletop those legs one at a time and then sway your knees over to the right. Lifting up to flex and just noticing if this side feels easier, if it feels more challenging. The biggest thing here is that you're not going to wanna to lift with your shoulders. So focus on those shoulders drawing down and away from those ears. Beautiful job. Keep that chin close to the chest as you flex up so you don't create any neck tension. And heavy through your tailbone. Go ahead and relax it. And taking it to that other side, left foot underneath, right leg is gonna come up towards your tabletop position. Let's take an inhale to push out and exhale to pull back in again. It's common to get cramps in your foot or your calf muscles. So if that's something you're experiencing, it is common just because this is a very challenging exercise. There's a lot of activation going on through that leg and foot. Just take a break and jump right back into it when you're ready. Again, five to 10 repetitions on this side, using your exhale to pull in. Beautiful. Let's take those hands, place them in the handles, tabletop those legs, curl it up guys. We're gonna go right into hundreds here. So you're gonna inhale for five counts and exhale out for five counts. Try to minimize the movement of the reformer. Keep those arms nice and long. Neutralize through your wrists and fingertips are reaching energetically towards the wall in front of you. Hug those inner thighs together. I'm staying in parallel, but if you wanna be in Pilates V where heels together, toes apart, that's fine. Again, inhale for five counts and then exhale for five counts. Awesome. And then bring it back down. Beautiful work. Let's go ahead and sit ourselves up. I'm gonna stay on that one spring I'm already on, so there's no adjustment necessary. Unless you need to go down lower, I would recommend a blue or just a half spring. Interlace those hands. Let's grab that handle. You're in that nice crisscross mermaid stance position with the legs. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to bring those hands right in front of the sternum. Careful with false rotation. And what I mean by that is sometimes when we rotate, we tend to just turn our head. So focus on the entire torso rotating. This is an oblique exercise. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and set that down. We're gonna take it into a nice 20 second plank position. And in this variation, I'm gonna go ahead and take that headrest down. I'm gonna Place my forearms down in that headrest. Elbows are puncturing into the carriage. When you're ready, press out two straight legs and hold. If you're getting any low back discomfort, lift those hips up higher to the sky. Think about dropping your shoulders away from those ears, squeezing through those glutes, 
activate your thighs and pull that belly button up towards the sky. Breathe. Soften those knees when you're ready and bring it all the way back in. Beautiful. Let's take it into the other side for our seated rotation. So grab a hold of that handle. Left hand goes in, right hand interlacing with that left hand. Exhale to rotate. Shoulders are down, neck stays long. You can always kneel if you want more of a challenge in this, in this exercise here. And then think about puffing your chest up a little bit more. Think about lifting out of your low back, out of your hips to grow taller. That might limit the range of motion, but it, now we're really gonna benefit through those obliques here and bring it back in. Taking it right back into another plank variation, down to the forearms. I like palms up. It helps to eliminate neck tension and getting in so much into my upper traps. And then from here, let's go ahead and pike those hips up high to the sky. So scoop that belly, straight legs, Think of a string lifting your tailbone all the way up. Beautiful job here. Anywhere from five to 10 repetitions. Again, it's nice because you get to choose your level here. Listen to your body. If it begins to feel fatigued, we want to really work on proper form. And then bring it in one knee at a time. Beautiful. So right into a glute series, but because of the light spring here, it's gonna feel more core related. So toes are on parallel on that foot bar. If you need to pad up your knee on that right side, feel free to do so. But as you are holding on to those shoulder blocks, again, drop the shoulders away from those ears. Try not to live in the joints and then think about pulling that belly up towards the spine here. There's so much control that has to be done with the carriage since it's such a light spring. So taking your time with it. Second variation, we're gonna have a turned out position. So the entire sole of the foot is on the foot bar. And then one thing to take note here is that maybe your heel isn't touching that foot bar all the way. So how can you adjust to make your entire foot press equally into the foot bar? And it's gonna be limited by how tight your calves are. So stopping when you feel like that heel wants to lift up is gonna benefit you even more. Good job. Let's bring it down again for our plank series. So Palms are up, you're on your forearms. Once you're ready, take it out into plank here, belly in. You're gonna soften the knees to pull that carriage in and then press it out. So inhale to soften the knees, exhale to push out. Beautiful, taking your time. Nice work, guys. Once you hit anywhere from five to 10, you can go ahead and bend one knee at a time, bringing that carriage all the way back in. Let's go ahead into our glute series on the other side. So right toes are on, pad under that left knee if you need to. Straight arms, take an exhale to push out to a straight leg, and then inhale to slowly soften the knee. So one thing I want to address here as well is that it's so important to keep your hips square towards the floor since we are still in a parallel position with the foot. So think about that right hip dropping down. Careful to not wing into your shoulder blades. So again, making sure that your entire upper back is activated and assisting you through this exercise. Let's turn it out into external rotation. So knee is looking to the opposite side of the room. Keep your heel planted into that foot bar. Beautiful. 
and then think about a wall as if there was a wall that your left hip was up against so that you aren't leaning so much to the left side. How does that change the feeling here? Beautiful. And then bringing it back down nice and slow. Let's go ahead and if you need to sit on the carriage, you can. You can take your legs all the way out straight. You can crisscross, applesauce your legs. You can kneel up fully, or you can go ahead and work along with me here. Chest expansion. Palms are in. Their arms are reaching long. Stabilize through your torso. And let the work here develop below the armpit, right in your back. And just feel so good to open up through that chest and take it into your bicep curl. So I'm going to lean back a little bit here for to intensify the resistance and to also feel a little bit more challenge through the core. Beautiful job here, guys. And we're just keeping this flowing from one exercise to the next. The idea is that you're creating that heat in your body and we're deepening that ab experience. And then when you're done, we're gonna go ahead and take our handles off if you were working with handles and let's place those loops on. And then once you've done that, go ahead and take a seat. We're gonna place the loops above the knee all the way above the knee and making sure that metal buckles on the outside of the knee so that it doesn't get caught. Scoot your tailbone all the way up to those shoulder blocks and then carefully lie on your back here. So this is going to be quite a challenging exercise so be very careful and mindful of how your neck feels. Tabletop the legs, interlace the hands to support the neck and then carefully extend those legs out and draw those knees in. So I'm gonna reach at a higher angle here to really focus on maintaining a neutral spine. You also can imprint your low back. So if you're feeling any discomfort, if you're arching your back, angle those legs up higher. Now we're gonna go to an oblique version. So as you extend those legs, draw those knees in and rotate to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, rotate through the left. Inhale through center. Nice and slow. It's easy to use your hip flexors here. So really focus on those abs, drawing those legs in. Anywhere from five to 10 repetitions here. Reach out, exhale to rotate and twist. And we haven't had a break here, guys. So if you need to pause, take a break and then go right back into it. Elbows are wide. Try not to pull on your neck. Almost there. Amazing. Carefully go ahead and sit yourself up, up here, guys. Let's take those loops out. You can hang them right back up on top of those pegs. And then we're gonna go ahead and come on off here. taking it into a full body integration series. So we're going into up stretch two. Hand, palms are on that bar, come into plank and then pike your hips backwards. So think about your shoulders going over your wrists slightly at an angle into a plank. And think about pushing your hips all the way back. So if you have really tight hamstrings, go ahead and walk your feet forward slightly. Transitioning into our long stretch, so this is a plank. You're gonna drag your body forward. Exhale back, inhale, drag the body forward. So really, again, getting deeply connected with your abs. Shoulders are away from those ears. You're pressing your palms into that bar. Let's combine everything. Let's drop it to plank. Inhale to pull forward. Exhale to send the hips back. Beautiful. 
down to plank, dragging your body forward, push those hips back. Excellent. And press. So lots of things are working here. This is why we call this a full body integration exercise. So many muscle groups are working and it creates stamina in our body. Excellent. Go ahead and carefully come on off and then headrest is gonna come up to a halfway position. If you like it down flat, go ahead and keep it there. And we're gonna do a single leg variation of our hip work. And again, I'm still just on that one red spring, which is a medium spring. Let's place our right foot in the loop, stretch it to the sky, and then when you're ready, find your left leg in tabletop and hold. Inhale to prepare and exhale, lower that leg down and inhale back to 90. So exhale to 45 and inhale to 90. Notice your right and your left hips trying to create balance. And there's so much more core focus here as opposed to having both feet in the straps. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do a single leg variation just like we did in our warm up at the beginning of the workout. Just switching those legs. Perfect taking your time to breathe. Let's go ahead and straighten out that left leg and scissor the legs here. So it is normal to feel like that left leg is actually doing more work than the right leg. So if you're feeling that, totally fine. You're doing it right. We're just gonna wanna keep those hips down and equally balanced. Good. Bring both legs together as a unit and then lowering both legs down and then right back up. So think of a rubber band around your ankles. Again, relaxing through your facial muscles, widening up through the chest, drawing your abs in and listening to your breath here. Bend it into frog, heels together, toes apart. Exhale, squeeze through those inner thighs. Beautiful. Exhale, extend and reach. Exhale, extend and reach. Nicely done. Find that foot bar with your left foot. We'll take a little bit of a stretch here. So soften that left knee, maybe pull on that right strap, pushing the back of the knee away. Take an inner thigh stretch if that feels nice for you. And then we can finish it off with the piriformis stretch or that figure four. So left ankle over right knee and then bend that right knee in towards the chest. And just Take it a moment to allow your heart rate to go down and then we're gonna switch it to the other side. So hang that loop back up on the peg. Let's find that left strap, place it in the middle of the arch of the foot. Tabletop that right leg when you're ready and exhale, we're gonna press straight down with that left leg. Good, so again, things might feel a little different here since we are on a different side. So this is the, I, this is the point when you wanna really check in with your body, taking inventory and understanding what it is that your body is feeling, any weaknesses, domination. Take it into that single leg stretch variation with the legs where we're just switching from tabletop to 45 degrees. Good, fingertips are long, palms are relaxed. Scissor the legs, reach out right with that right leg, nice and long, and switch. And switch. So again, our goal here is to 
really focus on unilateral movement. Our abs are fully engaged. Huge emphasis on the obliques here. And this is great hip strengthening. Good, together as a unit with both of those legs, be mindful how low you go as we maintain our neutral spine. Use your exhale to lift the legs back to 90. Use the inhale to lower to 45. Beautiful. Drop down and take it into frog to finish this off. Heels together, toes apart, squeeze through those inner thighs. Pressing at an angle. Press higher at the angle if you are noticing that you're arching your back here as well. And find that foot bar to finish it with our stretches. So take a deep hamstring stretch here. Your inner thigh stretch, so take that leg out to the side. And finish it with that piriformis stretch, so take that right ankle over the left knee for the figure four. And you should feel that right in the center of your right hip here. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and find our foot back to the foot bar. It's taking that loop back to the peg. We're gonna sit ourselves up. Attaching all of your springs on, we're gonna do a side over variation on short box. So grab a hold of your box. Let's go horizontal against the shoulder blocks. If you're taller, you can take that box over the shoulder blocks and headrest it and it go down. Foot bars down flat and make sure your strap is available to you. Your hips are stacked. You're gonna flex your left foot here, cross your hands over your chest. And from here, inhale to dip the body into the well, exhale to lift. Good, it's so care be so careful here that you're not collapsing through your spine, that your chest is lifted and look straight ahead, don't look down. So about five here, Let's add on if that feels good for you. So rotate into the well, open your arms out like wings, cross, exhale, lift up, four more. We're gonna rotate towards the well, stretch those arms open, cross at the chest, exhale to lift. Beautiful. So there's just a lot of more hang time here that's gonna challenge those obliques. Reach, cross, and lift, good. Let's try that one more time and lift. If you wanna take a stretch there, feel free. If you wanna keep moving, let's go ahead and switch those feet, turn to the other side, line up those hips, chest is up, cross your arms over your chest, taking that inhale to dip into the well, and then exhale, lift. Beautiful. Look straight ahead. Puff your chest up a little bit to stay long through your neutral spine. About five here, and then we're gonna add on if that feels good for you today. Rotate, look at the well, open your arms out, cross over the chest, exhale to lift. Inhale, drop, we twist, open up, cross over, and lift. Good, find the breath style that works best for you. And lift. Dipping it down, we rotate, open those arms, cross at the shoulders, and up we go. Excellent. And bringing yourself right back up. Good work. So that strap can go back down, foot bar can come back up, and then I'm taking it right back into one red spring, which we've been on throughout this entire workout. So about that medium spring, and let's come down to your stomach for a nice swan prep variation. So separate those legs to help decompress the spine. Arms are long and straight. You're inhaling to lift up into extension. Exhale to lower your chest down. So focus on those shoulders just moving down the back pockets. Your entire backside is gonna be activated and it should feel really nice. 
we're seldom in this extension position. So really draw those muscles down your back pockets. Squeeze those glutes, keeping the neck in line with your spine. So not looking up. Beautiful job. And bring it back in. Excellent work today here, guys. Let's go ahead and finish it with a couple roll downs. Stand tall, hip distance apart. Let's sweep those arms up overhead and scoop that belly to round the spine. Reach for the toes here. Carefully restack the spine up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders roll back one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.